Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here coming to you from Sills Motor Sales in Cleveland, Ohio for another exciting episode of the new bike build series. In today's episode, Zach the Master Mechanic is going to install some more fantastic parts supplied to us by Miami Nanny at Moto Million onto our 2022 BMW S1000 RR that we have codenamed the HPX. Once this bike is completed, it's going to resemble, if not look better, than my 2013 BMW HB4. And when it's done, one of you outstanding people can possibly win the motorcycle. Information on how you can do that is down below in the description. Come join our Patreon family and you might just ride away with the best looking motorcycle we've ever created. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. For returning subscribers, tap the bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. So Zach's been doing some stuff behind the scenes, I see. Look at this beautiful EK 3D black and gold chain. It looks great, Zach. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna call this uh, episode tying up loose ends. Okay. Just a bunch of little pieces, parts that need to get put on the motorcycle. Yes. And stuff that needs to get torqued and figured out before we can do uh, an assembly with all our nice painted fairings and yeah. really give this bike a look. So yeah, uh, off camera, I just popped on that rear wheel hugger ah and, oh yeah uh, beautiful chain guard yeah and beautiful. the chain got the front sprocket on and now i'm working on the steering damper we have a olin steering damper okay for the motorcycle we've gone over in previous videos how to do this step by step yep. so we're just going to get it put on the bike and it gives you a little more adjustability and uh the stock units have been known to fail okay so it should eliminate that from happening this is great absolutely but, great yeah we definitely want to get this on here while the bike is still apart but yeah it's really come together uh we're also going to get we have the gray engine covers on it ah finally so we're going to get those on the bike today yeah and we do have some blue of these guys on order guys from manny at moto million he's going to send those to, to us and we'll get those installed next week blue for this side and then blue for the engine oil filler cap on this side Zach might be kind enough to do some safety wire like he did on my M1000, make it look really nice. Yeah, we could safety wire it. That's not a big deal. Well, that'd be beautiful. But this thing is great, man. And to think, it all started off looking like this bike right there. Yeah, I actually forgot <laughs> until I was looking up tor tightening torques for the steering damper. Yeah. And it showed a picture of the bike and it looked like that. I'm like, whoa, how did this start like that? Wow. It doesn't even seem possible. Big difference. From a 2022 S1000RR in this colorway. Same to... wheels and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it did have the filthy cast wheels that we still have. I have to send back to Manny. But, but yeah, big difference. Wow. I couldn't even see giving away of offering a bike like that, Zach. I mean, just a plain, basic bike like that. I but mean, you know, we say this all the time, we Zach. We definitely haven't done that ever. <laughs> no, no, and we say this all the time, but... How do we one-up ourselves for the next one? For I don't know. It, it almost seems impossible after yeah. this. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I know I keep saying it, but if anyone knows of a show that we could like enter this bike in, yes. just so people could see it in person, because I think it, probably, it comes across pretty cool in video and in pictures, but man, in person, yeah. it is something else. Under some bright lights at a show, yeah. like it would be really cool if there was a one-day show somewhere in the middle of the country, yeah. even Michigan or just even a little farther west. So a lot of people could come see it if they wanted to. Yeah, It'd be pretty cool. I mean, you were mentioning that our regional BMW rep was in and he was wowed by this bike, right? Oh yeah, he was loving the paint job and he's like, yeah. well, I can totally tell that you guys were going for an HP4 theme. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, send me pictures as soon as you got the rest of the yeah. body work on. And what would a video be without a beautiful puppy in the mix? Is this your new puppy salesman, Joe? This is my new puppy, Havoc. Beautiful. His name's Havoc? Yep. Cool name. Now, what breed is he? So he's a purebred Belgian Malinois. Oh, he's beautiful. You see a lot of them, they're uh, police and military working dogs. They look oh like German gosh. Shepherds. They do. A little, little sleeker. Yeah. Hmm? He's gonna be a good boy. How big will he get? Oh, German yeah. Shepherd size? No, a little smaller. He'll probably be around 70 pounds. Okay. Yeah. He's adorable. He's about eight, he's eight weeks now. Wow. Smart as a whip. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. He'd be nice. He is a beautiful doggy. Wow. I also got the winglets on the floor. Oh, cool, man. You have been doing a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we're just waiting for the badge holder for lack of other terms. Yes. Which is this piece right here. Yes. So that we could mount these onto the motorcycle. And your favorite thing, the illuminated rondelles. Oh, yeah, and we're waiting on those too. <laughs> okay. Wow. 
it is coming along, guys. So, so yeah, still a ways to go, but yeah. we needed to get some of these loose ends tied up, just stuff that's shown up, uh, or other things that we were waiting to get the subframe on to do some of it. So, yes. yeah, I got the stock damper off. Oh, yeah. Uh, like I said, we've gone over it in other videos. It, this is how you adjust it. it. This one has like... 10 clicks or so? Yeah. And the other one has 20. Yeah, this one right? has like 10 or 12, and mm -hmm. the old ones has like 20. Yeah. And when it's stiff, it's hard to move back. So that's what's yeah. keeping your front wheel from shaking the handlebars. And when you put it on soft, it's a lot easier to move. Yes. Hopefully you can see I'm struggling less. See, I do pay attention to your videos. Yes. Right? <laughs> You've learned something, Eve. Yeah. Excellent. Just been doing this for five years now. I yeah. Something so our Olin's <laughs> unit, the adjuster's on the body itself. Yes. Which makes it a little trickier to get to, but. Yeah. Yeah, so that's soft on the Olin's unit. And once you put this one on firm, you can like barely even move it. Yeah. Be careful in parking lots, right? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> look at that, yeah. Jeez. So we usually set them somewhere in the middle and yeah, you just stiffen it up if you were gonna go out. Yes. Some high speed straightaway stuff. Yep. Which we're known for doing. Still working on the little things. Tidy yep. Up. We got a TWM clutch lever that'll match our Brembo brake lever better. Ah. I think true. we're going to leave the Brembo lever just because it's so nice. It is very nice. Oh, we got some bolts we could put in the subframe if you were watching along carefully last time. Remember, a tap broke off in this screw. <laughs> I was able to get the ah. tap out, re-threaded it. Okay. Put those fasteners in. Actually, it was this thread right here where the screw is, and that's where the tap was broken off. Okay. So I was able to just crack the tap by hitting it with a pin punch and then uh, re-thread it. And now it goes in nice like it should have originally. Nice. All right, so just checking that our bike makes it to the steering lock going both directions, which that means our steering damper is not interfering. And it seems like from what I can figure out from the old Olin's instructions and my box didn't come with any instructions, it looks like they changed the way that the steering damper mounts and they put a new mount if you come from this side, Eve. Yeah. Uh, you can see there's no spacer here. Yeah. And then it uses a smaller spacer where this black uh, piece is at. Yeah. That's shorter than it used to be. And you used to put a spacer there. So okay. it seems as if they've moved it up in the bike. That's all I can ascertain. Because yeah. the original instructions show the other setup, but it doesn't work. I found the instructions here and you can see this looks longer. Mm -hmm. And then they want a spacer there. But if I put that spacer there and use the spacer we have, it's crooked. So it can't be right. It's, it's mounted. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. It's not unsafe. I'll try to do a little more research and see if that's 100% correct. But okay. All right. Got our blue pro tie screws for our now eight front wheel speed sensor ring that mounts in three positions instead of five. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Thank goodness it wasn't back ordered, right? Yes. Thank goodness. Just another thing we never thought of because we never had a bike with cast wheels before. If we had the forged wheel option or carbon fiber wheel option, we wouldn't, would have, would have best been able to swap it over. Right. Take the time to torque everything and center everything up real nice this time because hopefully it's the last time the front wheel is coming off. I would say so, yes. You never know, but it should be. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it to stay that way. Once we torque the calipers, that's the tricky part. Okay. I'll hold and the then, brake yeah, lever. You want to hold the brake lever for me, please? Yep. Thank you, Eve. Of course, this thing wants to spin. Okay, let's see what we got. I like it. Yeah. Spins pretty well. Yeah, you can hear the brake pads dragging a little bit, but they'll wear in once it gets out onto the road. Everything's new, new brake pads, yes. new rotors, thicker rotors. So that's why you get that little bit, but we've definitely had them spin worse with this caliper, with this whole braking setup. Yep. You wanna take some time. It's because there's no dowel pins in the forks. That's why we have to take the extra time for the extra step. And now I believe we can move on to our alternator and clutch cover. Lovely. Let's get rid of the gold. Finally. Except the last the, piece of gold on the bike. Except for the forks. Except for the forks, yeah. I just learned that now from Moto Million, you can get the clutch cover in kit form. They found someone to get everything 
So it's already assembled. Yeah. Don't have to put the bearings in it. Don't have to put the seal. That the clip. was a pain last time uh, you did that. No, uh, sound deadening, yeah. and it comes with a new gasket and screws. Nice. Of course, we don't need the screws because we got Pro Tie bolts, but it's nice that it comes all in one kit now. You don't have to source everything separately. Yep. So actually, I was messing with the clutch cable. I didn't have to worry about that because we're just gonna take it back off. Yeah. Uh, so once again, just like we did before, we're gonna loosen this as much as we can. And we're gonna take this nut all the way off the end this time. And still I'm gonna grab a crescent wrench and we can just engage the, or disengage the clutch a little bit. So it'll give us some free play to get the cable out of the mechanism here. All right. Like so, then we can put that back and we can slide that back out of the way. We're gonna have to reuse our oil fill cap for now. And other than that, we can just zap the old bolts out because we're not reusing them. Doesn't look like it. Oh, the dowel pins stay in the engine, so that's good. Right here and right here. And actually, let's try this though. Maybe this will work out better. this to line up on our shaft there. Hey, okay. yeah, looks good. Yeah. We are good to go now. That's already looking a million times better. Oh yeah. It's a huge difference for yes. such a little piece. We say, I feel like we say that all the time now, but it yeah. really is. All right, so over on this side, we gotta disconnect our crankshaft position sensor. To do that, this is a two position clicking type uh, fat, uh, connector. Yeah. So we pull that out, then we're gonna push back and this outer part's gonna slide over like that. Mm -hmm. And now we have to push on this extra hard and you could hear it click and now the whole thing will release. So you have to do that in the two steps, otherwise you could break it. Okay. And we're gonna move this sensor over to the new cover as well. Also on the inside of this is the stator and a little bit of oil, so I'm just gonna grab a drip pan. This is gonna be a little tricky to get off. We got the magnetism between the stator and the rotor, and it uses sealant instead of a gasket. But once we break the seal, it usually will come off. You just gotta watch, if you get your fingers in behind there, be careful, because it'll try to suck it back on. Oh, okay. Because that's a giant magnet. Crankshaft position sensor. I think we went over it in the previous video, but if you see all these little bumps on the outside of this flywheel here, somewhere way down here, there's that irregular gap. Yep. So this sensor is making like a square wave every time it passes. So it'd be a square, square, square. So when it gets yeah. to that gap, there's a big gap. So that's how it knows what cylinder it's on. Okay. It's basically just counting. Yeah. And then this speed has to match half the camshaft speed and then everything's happy. We just have to clean all the sealant off of this side of the engine. For that, we'll use a little brake cleaner, wire brush. New sealant won't stick to any old sealant, so we have to have it pretty clean because we don't want any leaks to happen. Anything that's stubborn, we could use our little plastic scraper for because the plastic won't damage the aluminum. This is the sealant BMW recommends. It's Dow Corning. I don't know, it's in the parts catalog. I've used Honda Bond before though, it's fine. If you like Yamaha Bond, you could use Yamaha Bond. Suzuki Bond, whatever Bond you like. All the Bonds. James okay. Bond. Yeah. I've never had great luck using just straight silicone like you would on an old car or something. It does seem like one of the manufacturer's Bonds do work better. I like to smear it instead of leaving it in a big in that nice, I know it was nice and clean, but I just feel like this helps it seal better. Okay. And then I get both sides of the hole. This stuff's cool too, once it dries, if there's a bunch sticking on the outside of the engine, you can just grab it and it'll peel right off. Okay. So it finishes nice and clean. Nine Newton meters is what it calls for. Perfect. Did I turn that on? I thought I turned it on. Yeah, we're on. Cool. That one's four and a half, so basically we're just gonna make sure it's snug. 
Okay. It's probably already there. Eh, no, I had a little bit to go. And then I do want to take just a little bit of the sealant and go across this rubber grommet so that it seals real nice. Just like so. And then we want to line this up and this is where it's going to just kind of suck itself in. So the closer we are in alignment, the better. All right, cool. We did pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Again, one of those little pieces that you wouldn't think would make that big a difference, but yes. in the end, that part makes a huge difference. It the does. The bike looks. It ties everything in. It does. Without it, you're just like, man, this bike's missing something. Because we've gotten there before and been like, what's this bike missing? Oh, that electronics cover just flows all yeah. that. If you have these three, if you have these two pieces, like you have to have that almost. Yes. It just doesn't look right without it. It is the biggest Torx I have, the T60. Yes. I'm sure there's bigger ones out there, but this is really the biggest one that we use on motorcycles. Make sure your O-ring's good and make sure it's seated up against here. I have actually chafed these myself, just changing these real fast. So you do want to pay attention to it and it does cause just a little oil leak, of course. I've also seen these not be tight enough or not seal. And I have, I've seen some oil leaks here. I've also seen one that seems like it's leaking from here, but it's actually the crankcase vent. Uh, there's an O-ring on that, and they seem to be pinching them at the factory. I've had two or three bikes with it so far, but it looks like this is leaking, but it really it's coming from up there, and it comes all the way down. No way. So just something to pay attention for if you got a K67. And notice a little oil leak whenever you park it. All right, folks, you saw the great progress that was done to this bike today, and we have a little more to go before we can uh, reapply all the beautiful custom-painted bodywork and uh, call this bike just about done, right, Zach? Yeah, so kind of just want to get everything done that, that way we don't have to take the custom painted bodywork on yes. and off just so we don't risk uh, mm -hmm. any unnecessary scratches or just handling dings that happen from that. Yes, I mean, the bike's going to have to come apart for service at some point, yeah. and it's probably going to get little scratches on it. That's just life, but we want to limit that as much as we can mm -hmm. while it's still in its uh, new form, you know? Absolutely. But you know, remarkable things were done to the bike today. It looks really nice now that those gold yeah. covers are gone. More gold, I mean, that's a huge difference. Yes. Yuck and nice. Yes. <laughs> on both sides. So yeah, it just looks amazing. Got the Olin steering damper on. Yep. Beautiful. You can see it hiding up in there. But man, those covers really make the bike look amazing. And with that steering damper on now, I can put the air guide back on the bottom and we can get the air guide on for the radiator and that'll get us one step closer to mounting our body work as well. Yes. All pro tie fasteners holding stuff. I got the shark fin on. Yeah. Oh, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't put pro tie fasteners on those because they get hidden. Yes. If we have extras, maybe I'll go back. Okay. Watch out for that stand. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah, no, coming stand. along great. <laughs> so a lot was done to this bike today and it's almost done, guys. But you can still enter to win this motorcycle. Information on how to do that is down below in the description. Make sure you join our Patreon family and your name just might get selected to win this beautiful machine once it's finally completed. Okay, folks, stay tuned for the next video. And we'll catch you next time on the 650EB YouTube channel.